using the Windows part of it. Windows can also be used to remind the viewer the things that needs to be done in the near future. OK, next thing monitoring. It can change us both internal and external things that can be easily monitored. OK, data in one window can be modified and its effect on another window can be studied. We do this right when you're sending up probably a quiz or a you know feedback link. I do the changes probably I you know, you know when I go for a preview, it will obviously open in the next window. OK, when you go for a preview, it will obviously open in the next window. They will see a preview that how it looks through to the student who is going to fill it. OK, that is what you see changes in one window. Other one you are going to see the changes of it. OK, external events. What are the external events? OK, changes in stock prices. OK, out of normal range conditions. System messages can be watched while another major activity is carried out. OK, how many of you have got stocks here? I mean, people who are invested in stock market. No one. People from Andhra should be knowing it lot. OK, fine. OK, we'll be doing it very soon. Once you get into a company, you'll be doing it. OK, they are going to give you company shares and it will be put in your DMAT account. OK, what's DMAT account? Not like your SB, you know, college accounts and all SP account, FT account. It's called a dematerialized account. OK, it will not be in material form. It will be more in a digital form where you put the, all your, you know, shares and all. OK, think that, you know, some person, OK, who was joined Infosys and probably they want, there are two options, OK, joining bonus. They can, there are two options. One as a cash, I mean, cash means they'll put it in your account. Or other one is, other option is, They'll go for what you call as you know shares. OK, shares of that particular company. OK, for that you need a DMAT account. They'll be putting it into your account. OK, that's the best option compared to putting it and in forms of cash. OK, cash will always get a lot maybe in one or two months. OK, you put it in as your DMAT. Of course, that also you can sell, but more you know something which is more easily, not so easily, you know, changeable. OK. Yeah, so that's something that you are going to learn. Okay, maybe in years time, by this time, maybe next year, you'll be knowing a lot of it. Okay, so that's the next thing. Okay, multiple representation of the same task. The same thing can be looked at many different ways. Okay, so what is the example? Alternate drafts of a speech, different versions of a screen. Okay, or different graphical representation of a same data. Okay, can all be done using this. Next. Constraints are to see what is the thing I'm reading. I'm talking about characteristics. There, I'm talking about what all things that needs to be written in this. Okay. I talked about few points, then I'm looking into advantages. Now I'm talking about the disadvantage, also known as constraints. Okay. What is the constraints when it comes to Windows is design? First thing, a great amount of time the users must spend doing such things. Okay, what such things? Pointing a time boxes in the window borders, resizing the windows, okay, moving the windows, closing the windows. You don't think that has a very, you know, thing that, that will take a long time, but we need to say it as, as a disadvantage, okay? But why? Because it's in the past. In the past, window user interface has been described as chaotic, okay? Why it's called chaotic? Because of same all those reasons, okay? The problems with windowing systems can be attributed to three factors. Number one, First thing, historical considerations. There'll be two H that will be coming. One is historical. Next one is hardware limitations. The next one is human limitations. Okay, not two, three. Historical, hardware, and human limitations. Okay, problems in Windows. Understand this. Problems in Windows design in the past is attributed to three considerations. Okay historical hardware and human limitations. So what is the first one? The historical considerations. OK, historically system developers used to spend a lot of time or were more interested in solving the hardware problems than in the user consideration historically in the past. OK, there has been very, very little, you know, research addressing the design issues and the impact on visibility of Windows system. OK, therefore, very few concrete window design guidelines or aid to the you know sort of designers. Okay. Look into Windows operating systems. Okay, which if you look into what is the history of it, they are very, very minimal changes. Okay. The same thing is not true in terms of Android. 
I think you said OS, you know, you know, lot of things related to OS. OK, when you go for Windows, when you go for an Android thing, there's a multiple versions of Android. And if you compare maybe a 10 years old Android to now, there's a lot of changes. But when you compare a maybe a 10 year, 15 year uh, comparison between a Windows operating system to now, there are very, very minute changes. OK, except for how it looks through and all very minute changes. OK. So that's something that you know people again because people are comfortable with it. OK, and of course, whereas other limitations also okay, changing is not going to be that easy there. Next, this lack of guidelines makes it difficult to develop for acceptable or agreeable window standards. Okay? OK, standardization of interface is also inhibited by the other factors like seeing standards as a threat to creativity and perceived monetary rewards. OK. So all these things are in terms of the historical consideration. OK, next hardware limitations. Many of the today's screens are not large enough to take full advantages of the Windows capabilities. Why? Because again, same thing, today's screens. Many users of personal computers expand their windows to cover a full screen. OK, we do this, right? I mean, otherwise we cannot see much. OK, we there is always a possibility of working with multiple windows and all, but generally we go with one full screen, then shift into another full screen like that. OK, either seeing all the contents of one window is preferable than seeing small, small, small parts of many windows. OK, next again, it's all hardware limitations. OK, so also the slower processing speeds and again, see this is all something which is like old, old data. OK, now people will be thinking why where do you think, you know, slower processing speeds, smaller memory size and all. It's something which is written long, long ago. OK, so that the same data is coming to. So when we, when you write this for slow processing speeds or smaller memory sizes, you should not question yourself like, OK, how is it possible? Now it's everything's almost, you know, very fast, almost very big in terms of space. OK, next humor limitations. OK. A windowing system requires learning and using more operations. OK, much practice is needed for what? Master them. Hopefully, you know, for those people who don't know, then window management operations are placed on top of the other operations and window management can be done in end itself. OK, something which you again, human limitations. Think of a person who is not able to work on Windows. What and all points you can write then based on that you try to write away. So this can sort of detect, you know, things on task. Okay, so these are all what you call as the characteristics of it. Predominantly advantages, disadvantages. Okay, when they ask, they ask for ten marks. You should be able to sort of write about it. Okay, what are the other limitations? The other possible problems will be basically the necessity for the window borders to consume valuable screen space. Okay, small windows that provide large amounts of information can be lead to excessive bothersome scrolling. <coughs> we have seen this, right? If you if the window is opening very small, then the information you need to keep on scrolling because the space is very less. OK, so what we're going to happen if the screen is big, then probably you can read it like this. If the screen is small, then you have to go through like this, which requires scrolling. OK, which requires scrolling OK, so that's it. So it bothers some scrolling. So this is in terms of characteristic. The next thing is in terms of the components of a window. OK, when you take window, what and all will be there. OK, from the textbook point of view, not from the general point of view. OK, from the textbook point of view, what and all should be there. A typical window may be composed of to a dozen or so elements. OK, will do you read dozen? No, we are going to read about only few things here. OK. Some appear on or all the windows, others on certain kinds of windows or under certain conditions. OK, for the consistency purposes, these elements should always be located in the same position within a window. 